Let's make history. Tren de Aragua is a vicious gang from Venezuela. And before you watch this, you should actually go back and get caught up to speed if you're not familiar with who they are. I've done other videos on this, explaining their origins and how they got there to America. In a nutshell, through the Harris-Biden administration, I should say. <laughs> And these are the youngest members, some as young as 11 years old, 12, 13, 14, 15. And they started snatching purses along 42nd Street, uh, uh, like basically terrorizing the tourists, snatching purses. Then they moved up to strong arm robbery. And now they have guns, armed robbery, robbing people, tourists on 42nd Street. And they call themselves, this set of Tren de Aragua, they call themselves the little devils of 42nd, but in Spanish, Los Diablitos de 42. And they let, it's not funny though, they let in to the country millions of unvetted illegal immigrants. They didn't just let them into the country, they facilitated the process. They helped them and in some cases, they put them in particular places, transported them to particular places transported them to particular places this is no joke and it's metastasizing first reports were that they were taking over an apartment complex in aurora colorado actually several apartment complexes that's confirmed did a video on that uh then they arrived well actually before that they arrived in new york city so they're now uh, uh firmly established and operating in New York City, then they uh, began to sprout up in Chicago, having uh, borderline altercations in, with the, the Chicago gangs, which that's already a problem across the United States, but especially in Chicago, as far as the gang violence and the murders uh, on a weekly basis. So now you got another, you add an additional, <laughs> Uh, uh, another vicious gang, some may even say an even more brutal gang than the Chicago gangs because where they come from in Venezuela, it's, 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 not, a, as a, it's not as prosperous a place as uh, any of the cities really here in the United States. So they have a whole other level of brutality and you add that into the mix, you add that into the pot with the Chicago gangs and this is like just the... Uh, a time bomb waiting to go off um, and they're taking over apartment complexes in San Antonio, Texas, I'm hearing. And now they have set up younger members of Tren de Aragua, like 11 years old, 13, basically teenagers. The teenage uh, 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 faction of the gang has formed a set in 42nd Street. Like, what are we doing? Like. There's no funding for New Yorkers, but yet there's un there seems to be unlimited funding for people who have entered the country illegally. Kamala Harris is to blame, as is Biden. They supported these policies. This happened under their watch. By the way, it's not just people from Venezuela. Gotta say that it's many African, uh, many Africans from different places in Africa. Many uh, people from different countries in Africa also have made their way into the United States um, during this wave that the Biden-Harris administration has uh, has orchestrated. And so now they're in Times Square terrorizing tourists. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming the city's gonna do something now because that's a big money maker, the tourism industry. And once you start um, interfering in the income, into the, uh, uh, <laughs> the income flow, the money flow, then it may be a problem, but who knows? Because this thing is being funded by the federal government. And it's time for the people to come together and demand accountability to these elected officials. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe to Will Flores TV on YouTube. 
follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and X.